you got a new project out. Yeah, the general's so, list. The general's list. General's list too. Uh, yes, it's it's sonically amazing, man. You know, shout out to my boy Rob T for the mixing job and the mm. master job he did on it. You know, um, you know, got my crew on there, the Supreme Circle team, my wife Cognac the EXO, okay, and DW Flame. Right, who we interviewed last time? Yeah, yeah. And actually, got Flame. got like fifty thousand views. That was great, and I appreciate that too. I appreciate that. Yeah. And he, you know, you couldn't tell him he wasn't a star after that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I went to CVS and the girl started shaking. She was like, you DW up, you flame. <laughs> I fell out laughing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, they, one they, thing about Vlad TV, man, is that we, we got the streets. No doubt. We, you know, and this is, this, is, this is not me saying this. This is people. Mm -hmm. Everyone we interview will constantly tell me, that no matter how many times they've been on TV or whatever else, once they do a Vlad interview, people just stop them on the streets all the time. You know? The guy, I'm, I'm getting some stuff out the grocery store the other day, and the guy dragged his daughter down the aisle. She's like 14, 15 years old. I got a handful. I didn't get no baskets, so I'm thinking I'm getting a couple of items. I got seven to eight items in my hand. And he's like, oh, my daughter wanted to Snapchat with you. <laughs> I said, bro. Y'all have a good day, man. Thank you. You know what I mean? You just got to be polite about it, but people will just approach you for, you know, pictures and this, that. Oh, I seen your interview. I love this about, oh, yeah, that was some real stuff you said. Even your family members and, you know, close friends. So, you know, it's good to have an audience like that, man. Yeah, right? man. We, we yeah. tried. So so the new album's out. Yeah, yeah. And like I say, got you, you said it got Snoop Dogg on there, OT Genesis, Dub C, Crooked Eye, Latoya Williams. You know, uh, it's got, you know, it got a placebo, it, you know, P BG Perico. Um, yeah. It got it got hitters on there, man. A few more yeah. Mr. Criminal, you know, I even brought my mm. essay partner out to do his thing. Right. You know who, who, who was on that the Netflix movie? The Black and Brown thing. Yeah. yeah. It's my guy, man. He's a real solid dude. And, um, you know, I, I just put together an album and concentrated on making each track fit the feature that I wanted. Mm. You know, because some a lot of guys didn't get to participate on the first generals list. A lot of them wasn't out when I did the first generals list back in 2002. And that kind of became like a hood classic. You know, that was like a must have. Like, you ain't got the generals list. Yo, your West Coast collection ain't right. right. So I thought I'd bring another one back because demand for it, you know, I always get questioned like, you gonna do another one, you gonna do another one? So, man, this this probably like one of the best albums, including East Siders and, you know, features I did with Snoop and other people. You know, I I can't remember half the features I did, you know, I've been in the game for a minute. Well, because cause Goldie Loke is on it, right? Oh, Goldie Loke's on it. That's my, you know, that's my, that's the other East Sider, so you know I'm gonna bring yeah. him. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him up in there. But I'm saying it got a few people I haven't named. If I ain't name you, your name is on the album cover, so don't feel <laughs> no kind of way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pac Man, the Gun Man, GI Joe. You know, right? It, it, it go. You know any I mean? plans for any more East Siders songs or projects or anything? Me and Goldie was waiting to um, the distance between us. It was like it's a freeway that gets black ice on it when the weather is inclement. So. We just decided to wait till the weather was good again, and you know, fire up the fire up the studio again, and you know, get the people what they want. They've been asking for it, you know what I mean? He's uh he's like a cannabis entrepreneur now. Okay. You know, he's doing this thing, you know, and um, he 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 got at me this time. You know, I got at him three or four times when I got out. You know, to ask him did he want to do it, and it would always be something that would interfere with the process. But I think he really ready now. So he been, he say he got a couple files of of beats that he made personally for the project. Uh, so we well, got three or four songs put together already from the last time we got together. So well, because because I feel that 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 first East Siders album I felt was like. Kind of like Snoop's comeback album, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, because obviously the, the the death row shit was was dope, and you know, and I felt like he was kind of trying to find his way for a few years, you know what I mean, and so forth. And then when that dropped, it was like, oh, okay, this is like he back. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He back. Like this is that aggressive gangster music that we've been 
waiting for, you mm -hmm. know, and I think mm -hmm. that you, you and Goldie kind of brought that, brought that out of them. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we've been accredited with that, you know, being there for him and, you know, giving him an anchor, really like to come back and establish himself. But when he was coming back from No Limit, he gave me a call and told me, you know, clear the streets for me, General, you know what I'm saying, I'm on my way back, mm. you know, and uh, we set it up, he brought Goldie back with him because Goldie was on his, uh, on one of his albums before, I think it was the last Mill album. Yeah. And uh, that album was, that album was dope too. His last No Limit album was dope. The last Mill and the ones in between it, you know, it had some good songs on there. You know, I liked it. A few of them, I was on his first album he did with uh, Master P. Right. And, uh, you know, when, when he came back, it was like, man, let's set it off, man. You know, we got we to gotta set it off for the city. You know, we had a lot of OGs who was fresh out, and, you know, we was doing the unity thing in the city, trying to, like, stop the violence between the insanes and the 20s and show them that we could make money together and have the city popping without really popping the guns off. And it worked well, man. We got a lot of people to, you know, unite off that and really have fun them summers that we were swinging. Dope. Mm. Hey man, well listen, keep 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 doing your thing, man. You know, and we gonna see you again soon. Yes, sir. My yes, man. sir. Thank you, Vlad.